Hello there, I am Giant Gold with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we got through the rest of the route, whatever, I put the name on st route on screen, I guess, because I still can't remember. And then we finished that, so we made it to the Sauron City. We uh, got an Eevee from, uh, by sneaking in the back of a building, apparently. And uh, we uh, nicknamed it Jet with two T's, J-E-T-T. -T. Um, and we also bought a two fresh waters, one to give to a little girl whose brother thinks that she's, well, she's the trainer, but she is obnoxious and she's driving him crazy, apparently. She gave us TM13 Ice Beam, we gave that to Gamera, or my war turtle, and we taught it Gamera, you know, Ice Beam. And then, uh, we tried getting it the TM15 for Hyper Beam. You can't buy it at the department store in Red, Blue, and Yellow, like you can in Fire and Leaf Green, but, uh, you have to buy it at the game corner. I had to buy coins, and I didn't have enough coins, like, so I made a last minute choice, last second choice to have, uh, to have, um, Grumpy's uh, final move set be this. It's um, it's seismic toss, thunderbolt, body slam, low kick. It was originally gonna be uh, hyper beam, thunderbolt, uh, low kick, and uh, well, hyper beam bodies, hyper beam, thunderbolt, body slam, low kick. But yeah, that's okay. So yeah, so now we're gonna take on the cell around gym. Before we do that, we're gonna get the HM for a fly. We know we don't. Well, Charmeleon's not Charizard yet, and Pokemon Yellow Charizard can win fly, but in red, red and blue he cannot win fly. So we'll get them playing Pokemon Yellow, right? <laughs> so we have to go just cut down this tree right here, actually. So let me do that. So Paris will use cut. Yeah, there we go. Is there a trainer here? Because I don't know if I a trainer. I guess not good. Yes, there's another trainer. Cool. And then one fresh water, we're gonna give it to the guard so he's not thirsty anymore. And I'll share it with the other guards. So that way we can get through to Saffron City eventually, you know? Let's talk to you. Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. HM02 fly. Yay! Cool. So you can fly to every city, uh, that, uh, you can fly to every city that you've been to at least. But in the Pokemon Center and heal the Pokemon there, I guess is how it goes. And, uh, yeah, I think we, I think you need the Vimoin City Gym Badge Juice fly outside of battle. Or any time, I guess, in this case, because they say any time in this game. Not outside of battle. Like in other games, but yeah. But, yeah, try me, tr But Tabasco's not a Charizard yet, so that kind of stinks. So we're gonna have to wait on that. Which we don't really need fly right now, honestly. So that's good. Tabasco's up front, by the way. Because this is the rest, rest type gym coming up, you know? We also talked to the Vice Giver in the game point, which would be cool. And we played the slots a little bit, too. So that was all good. That was a very productive last part, I should say. So now we made it to the Celadon City Gym, almost. Just about, really. There's gotta be this creeper right here, yeah. Okay, yeah, he <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women, <laughs> yeah. okay, I tried to do a creepy voice, but yeah, whatever. Celadon City Pokemon Gym, wait a uh, The Nature of Love and Princess, okay, cool. Let's barge in a gym. We're a boy, ha ha ha. Hey, did Sean beat this gym yet? A sudden city Pokemon gym, way to Erica. Winning trainer Sean, of course Sean beat this gym. Let's take on these, uh, lasses and junior trainers and stuff. Hey, you're not allowed in here. Too bad, so sad, I want a gym badge. Ha, <laughs> that all rhymed. I like it. Okay, this is last. Thank goodness it's not a junior trainer, because I'm about sick of seeing them just invade and explode over Kanto, I guess you could say. Let's go for the Ember. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be super effective. Okay, yes. Poison powder. Oh my gosh, no. You're trying to be annoying or something? Is that what you're trying to do? Okay, Weeping Bell. I'm actually gonna switch out to uh, Grumpy. Because I want Grumpy to reach level 28 so it'll evolve. That'd be nice. Weeping Bell's level 23. Awesome. Let's go for the um, Body Slam, I guess. Yeah, it paralyzed it. Nice. Rap. Oh no. Well, since it, I, since Grumpy goes first, of course it still finds it where it still attack continues. I thought that if it was, the opponent using Rap was paralyzed, you know, Grumpy would be able to go first. But no. That's not the case. Okay, Grumpy go level 20. Awesome. We defeated it last. Okay, cool. You're really tough. You're too tough. Thanks for the 145 pocket dollars. What? Grumpy is evolving? Yay, another Pokemon to reach its final evolutionary stage. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Grumpy evolved in the Primeape. 
I like it. Gumpy's trying to win Rage. Yeah, Gumpy's final move since already been set in stone, really. So, nope, I'm going to skip out on Rage. Rage isn't even that good, to be honest. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's put Grumpy at the bottom of the list, I guess. Now, let's kill, t let's heal Tabasco's poison. So, yeah, we have some winter dots. We bought three at the lavender, to at the lavender, uh, Pokemon, so that's good. Am I good on, pro okay, I have three awakenings, three antidotes, and, uh, what, how am I doing on pro pearl seals? I have seven. Wow, okay, cool. Here's another trainer. I'm getting, I was getting bored. Yeah, that's honest. Yeah, at least you're being honest. You know, it's battle. Maybe that'll keep you entertained. Okay, this is a beauty, apparently. So yeah, she's an oddish. Tabasco, yay. Let's go for the Ember. Okay, yeah, I did a little bit over half, that's good. Uh, uh, oddish needs to absorb, okay, cool. Let's go for the Ember again. Bellsprout, nice, okay. Let's go for the ember. Okay, it burned it. Nice. It's gonna be poison power though and be a jerk. Let's go for the ember again. This should faint it. There we go. Nice. Awesome. We use about these Oddish. We'll stay in. Ember attack. Quick got awesome. It's super effective. Okay, I think after this bell sprout, Tabasco might grow to level 28. That's my prediction. We'll see if I'm right or not. Tabasco's hurt by the poison. Here's a wrap. Oh no! I was afraid. Oh, why, why did I not see this coming? Because, like, bell sprouts have wrap. Of course your attack continues. Of course. I have to look up how many um oh, I was right, Tabasco is in level twenty eight now. Awesome. Cool. I have to check how many PP um uh Tabasco has on Ember actually. My makeup, sorry man, sorry, beauty. Thanks for one thousand four hundred and seventy pocket eyes, I think it said. Okay, so I have to uh I think that's a good chat reminder to use a no antidote. <laughs> Okay, cool. How many, um, how much PP does Tabasco have on Ember, though? That's my question. Let's see, 16? Okay, we should still be good for right now. Cool, let's take on this trainer next. Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. Do you, are you saying that because, you know, if you start with Bulbasaur, you would, uh, have the, have the first two gyms in the bag because the first gym is a rock type gym and the second gym is a water type gym? Is that where they're based on that off of? Cause that's kind of annoying. Every Pokemon, well, I think like, uh, well, grass type Pokemon's are, are kind of hard to raise actually because they're weak to a lot of Pokemon types. So you could, you could argue that the opposite of what you just said is also true. Or more true than what you just said, I'm saying that fire, that, that grass types, Pokemon, sorry, um, are super effect, uh, easy to raise, or super easy to raise, cause that's a, that can be another argument, you know, the complete opposite argument could be made, basically, as I'm trying to say. And you use poison powder on Tabasco again. Okay, you better not use rap. I'm, I'm risking it, but you better not use rap. Okay, you said by the poison, no, no. Oh, of course, I should have just healed up my poison then. Uh, I healed up my poison. Healed, healed the poison, I should say. Yeah, this is just great. The stupid freaking bell sprout is being a jerk. After this battle, I'm probably gonna go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna do. Nice. Okay. There we go. Seem to be really cool. No! Thanks for 1,680 Poké Dollars. I'm gonna go back and heal. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, let's take on this trainer next. I think the only trainers that are left after this trainer is the trainers inside that little garden area, I guess you say. Are you fr are you the Peeping Tom? No, I'm not the Peeping Tom. I just want to battle for a gym badge. I want to battle Erica for a gym badge. I need it to enter the Pokemon League. 
I guess this is a ginger and female. She sends up Bob's way. Oh man, I don't like fainting Bob as always. But it just has to be done, I guess. So she's never on this thing. Ooh, quite, quite awesome. Does she have an ivy sword too? That kind of makes sense. Yeah, she does have an ivy sword. Cool. Let's go for the ember again, I guess. Could have quite awesome. Let's go scrawl on this, okay. That's not the worst thing I could have done. <laughs> Let's go for the scratch. Very nice. Awesome. What if you do train a female? Okay, cool. Oh, I'm, I'm in shock as I think of what she said. Thanks for the 400 day poker dollars. Don't be in shock. It's all good in the hood. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I think there might be one trainer I'm missing outside the garden area, but what to see. Uh, welcome to the solid ginger. You better not underestimate go power. I'm not going to underestimate go power. I think in the anime, I'm like 90% sure of this, but I think in the anime, Ash was like in a, uh, in a, um, perfume store and this one girl came up to him saying do you like the smell she sprayed it on him and she smelled it and he's like that's horrible and that's why he wasn't allowed in the salad on city gym to get his gym badge she had to sneak in as a girl pretend to be a girl named ashley instead of ash you know haha <laughs> makes sense for the name at least but yeah and team rocket again helped him out as i said before i think it was in the last part i discussed this so yeah oh my gosh not rap don't rap I don't want to be wrapped up in it as a pre Christmas present, even though it's coming up. Uh, if I were to guess, this is part, I think, 19 of this project. Um, I have like seven parts that I've recorded before this, and I haven't even touched them in edit editing wise. So, uh, if I were to guess, this, uh, this episode, this part may come at least a little bit before Christmas. I'm saying like probably the 16th of December is when this is going to be uploaded. If I, if I were just to guess. Now, I'm not saying that's true or anything. Uh, unless it is true, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, that's my um prediction. Okay, Gloom. Gloom looks like a fire type in this game, really, kind of. But then you see the like the, the way it's designed, it's obviously like a grass type, apparently. So she was drew a weeping bell, apparently. So that, that, that Gloom's going to suffer a similar fate, basically, with the Ember. But yeah. Oh my gosh, it's hung on. Oh, she's going to use a hyper potion, are you kidding me? Jeez. You, uh, when I train, when, since when do trainers use hyper potions? No, I'm just kidding. It, it, it happens, it happens. Especially if it's like the middle of the game to the end of the game, like Victory Road, you know, trainers use hyper potions and four stories probably too. But, oh my gosh, paralyzed, dang it. Oh, this gloom is so annoying. Four paralyzed, of course, of course. You're gonna let the gloom you know, store enough HP to where it takes two more embers, or an ember and a scratch still to faint it. Yeah, and that's the case. See, I'm mean, gonna have to use an ember like I just did, and a scratch. When I could have just took it out with ember if, I didn't, if you know, Tabasco wasn't paralyzed there. Jeez. I just can't win, can I? I'm just kidding, I can't win. <laughs> Tabasco is level 20 and awesome. Weeping Bell, okay. Is it, a, is it a fully evolved, fully healed Weeping Bell? Nope, it's not. Okay, let's go, let's go for the, why would you, why would you send it out and then, I guess you, let me fake me out and you scratch instead of Ember. So, that kind of stinks. This Ivy is always going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, it still survived. Okay, let's use another Ember. We see it evaded the attack. Okay, four paralyzed. Growl, it's gonna lower Tabasco's attack stat. That's just great. I just, yeah, I'm just really proud of that. I'm not gonna kill its paralysis just because, at least until the end of the battle, because, um, I want, I don't want to, like, use poison powder or something. I didn't mean to switch there. I'll try to switch. Let's go for the scratch then. You have another Pokemon to withdraw from, or to cover your withdrawal, I guess you could say. Oh, I couldn't move. Oh my gosh, paralyzed. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cut to where I get freed or something or can attack. Okay, so it turns out I have to heal my paralysis apparently, cause uh, I'm not fast enough for the. <laughs> cause it's gonna use rap and it keeps on continuing, and as long as, as long as Tabasco is slower than Weeping Bell, it's not gonna have a chance at attacking. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cut again to where I can actually move. That was the very next turn, why? Well, I didn't even have to cut. Thank you. Stupid battle. The stupid cool trainer sticking her tongue out and 
Oh, beaten, yeah. You are beaten. You're so annoying. You just took... You wait... I just can't believe what you did in that battle. You stupid withdrawing... Withdrawing weeping like twice or th maybe even three times, you know? So whatever, man. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm glad I defeated you. Let's go. Let's use a super potion on Tabasco. Jeez. That stupid battle was so annoying. I don't like it. Yeah, this tree is magically... Okay, fine. Is there... Wait, is Pikachu stuck in the tree, basically? Is Pikachu gonna use... Yeah. Yeah, Pikachu... Uh, Paris just cut Pikachu in half, basically, right there. Did I miss the trainer up here? Because I don't think I did. But maybe. No, but I didn't. Okay, cool. I was just making sure. That's why I backtracked there. Okay, let's take on this trainer next. Hopefully it won't be as big of a pain as the last one, you know what I'm saying? Don't bring any bugs or fire type Pokemon here. Why? Because they're super effective against your Pokemon, grass types? Nope, I have a fire type Pokemon first in my party. Too bad, it's so sad, alas. Okay, so this is an Oddish. Cool. Cool, yeah. Let's go for the Ember. Let's see here, um... Yeah, it's gonna burn it, they're nice. Stun Spore. Of course you can use Stun Spore. But I know Oddishes don't have wrap as in their move set really. Or in their move pool. In their move pool, I should say. It's gonna use Absorb, of course. Of course, man, that's just great. Four powers. Okay, I'll just scratch then. Uh, I'm just hoping that it doesn't use. Well, I'm, I'm keeping its paralysis on uh, Tabasco because I don't want to get poisoned or something. Because that'd be more annoying in my opinion. This is just a big pain in the butt. Tabasco's not all level 30. Awesome. Gloom, okay. We'll stay in. Let's use Ember on this thing. Four powers, of course. Of course, this is just my luck, you know? <laughs> just This gym is very annoying in Gen 1 because the paralysis and poison could happen to you. And if you're in two ways to go back to the Pokemon Center at some point, which so I'll actually go back to the Pokemon Center again before I take on Erica, the gym leader, because I still have my Pokemon battle. This After this, I want to battle because I like the experience. So, uh, yeah, this is just like, what am I doing? I got to do this still. I just got to fight through this. I gotta fight through this and be successful. Oh, you. Thanks for 345 pocket dollars. I'm gonna heal the process right now, actually, just so I don't forget. I have, six, I have five more process heals after this. I'm good on process heals. Take on this, uh, beauty, I guess. Is it, that, looks like, that looks like it's a sprite of a beauty trainer type. So yeah, pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Cool. Let's battle. Let's battle. Beauty wants to fight. She has one Pokemon. It's Execute. Cool. We haven't seen those. I guess it's really cool because it's a, uh, it's Grass and a uh, Psychic type. But I think it's four times weak to psych uh, Bug type moves because Grass is weak against uh, Bug type moves, and then uh, Grass is also uh, Psychic is also weak to Bug type moves. So it's like four times weak to Bug, really. But that's okay. But it still makes a good Pokemon. I've not actually used to Execute or Executor in, my, in any of my playthroughs of the Pokemon games. I should, though. Like, I know there's, um, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, there, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there's probably, a there's, uh, this, uh, a little form for, like, Executor that looks like a big old, uh, pine tree or something that's always skinny or something. I'll put a, I'll put an image of it on screen right now if I can find one. Which shouldn't be too hard, but you never know if there's not gonna be a Pokemon image on the internet. But then again, there's like images of all the Pokemon and all the forms on the internet probably, so I'm probably just making a big deal out of this. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, um, reflect. Okay, so it's gonna raise its, it's gonna gain armor apparently. And it's gonna raise its defenses, so that's great. Let's use an awakening on Tabasco then. I don't know why I didn't do that my first chance I got, but I am i was too busy talking or something. Oh my gosh, it's gonna hit five times or something. There we go, it only hit three times, good. Let's go for the MP then. Should faint it. There we go, nice. Feed of Beauty, okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, splendid. Thanks for the 1,820 Poké Dollars, I believe that's what it is. So I'm gonna go back and heal. Um, the, the, obviously the person we didn't fight yet is the gym waiter Erica, so I'll just cut right here. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, but I'll see you guys in a second. You know, I just noticed that it says gym gym. It says gym twice on the gym building. That's kinda cool. Gym gym. 
So now here we are back in the gym, so that's awesome. I just want to point that out actually, since we cut a little bit earlier to where I was at. So just cut on this bush again. You can also cut on both the left hand side of the like, garden area in either direction, I guess, if you want. But I always do the front one for some reason, because it's just like the one I see first or whatever. So let's talk to Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Saldan Gym. I teach the art of fire arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I am sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Oh, famous last words before you lose. Let's go. Let's battle. Okay, so here's Erica. She has, I think, three or four Pokemon. I didn't actually see there because I skipped it too fast or something. Hopefully, because like, I want to have the opening part where you see Erica like, at the beginning of the battle, so I hope I didn't ruin that for the thumbnail, because if I did, I was like, oh man, this is bad. Because I cooked too fast, so I may have just messed it up for the thumbnail or something. So that kind of stinks if that happened, you know? Oh man, I'm just dreading that right now. Okay, let's just take on the Tangela. I'll see if I can... I'll see if I can still make a still frame when I pause it for the thumbnail, like after I just record this video, if I see it in my video player. I don't know. It just depends. Okay, let's take out this thing. I did about one third use constrict, I think, is what I did. And then, uh, yeah, it's used bind, but it missed good. I uh, don't think this ember will take it out. This thing is level 30. So, and Tabasco is also level 30, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. She has three Pokemon, okay, she has a Weeping Ball, I think her last Pokemon's a Victory Ball, she, she, she might have, I'm pretty sure she has a Victory Ball as the last Pokemon, I'm gonna stay in actually. So Weeping Ball is gonna be pretty annoying, so let's use Ember on it. Let's hopefully get like a Kroid or something, I don't know. Cause I, I'm just dreading it using Rap, but I probably just jinxed it there. Acid, I don't know. Okay, I don't think Acid poisons you though, so that's good. I could be wrong on that. Could go awesome, she's got, she's probably gonna use a healing item, you know. Um, you know, if she's gonna use a healing item, I'm gonna use a healing item. So I'm gonna use a super potion. 48 points out of 50, that's awesome. So, yeah, just enough. Just enough, really. With no afterwards. Okay, so she's gonna use acid again, apparently. Let's go for the, um, scratch then. I don't know if this fainted though, cause you never know. There we go, awesome. We fainted awesome. That's what I was hoping for. Tabasco's in level 31. Okay, now, oh, gloom. Okay, so she has a, I think in red and blue she has a victory bell though, and like fire and the green she has a victory bell. I know in fire and the green she definitely has a victory bell. So I guess this is Pokemon yellow, so it's different Pokemon. So she has a Tangela, a Gloom, and a Weeping Bell. That's pretty cool. This Gloom is level 32. And I think in fire and the green she also has a Vile Bloom. If I'm not mistaken. But these are different games kinda, but they're all in the same region and same, uh, generation. I can't do Pokemon at least for that matter. I almost said generation, but that wouldn't make any sense because they're different generations. A Pokemon. So hopefully, so hopefully Tabasco can take out this gloom and have an epic Charmeleon soup, I guess you could say. Defense fell. Oh no, that's not good. I don't think Ember will, this Ember will take it up. Oh man, I doubted myself, but I, I, I was able to be victorious. Awesome. We defeated Erica. Yay. Oh, I can see defeat. Sorry. Are you, you are remarkably strong. I must confer you the the rainbow badge. Okay, we got 3,168 Pokemon for winning. Awesome. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also includes Pokemon to to use. It also includes. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. So she says in and out of battle, but other people say any time, like Brock and Misty said any time. I forgot to read how many time if what time Surge said any time or whatnot. Please also take this with you. We got TM21, which is Mega Drain. Awesome. It contains a Mega Drain. Half of the damage it inflicts is the rain to heal your Pokemon, which is awesome. I love Mega Drain and Giga Drain. I kind of even like absorb for the beginning of the game too. <laughs> We're gonna actually teach uh, that TM to uh, Brute Root actually, so that's awesome. It's gonna be part of his one of his moves and his final move set. So he's Brute Root. Paris can learn it, and I guess Brute can learn it too, that's it. Okay, cool. I try to make Mega Drain, okay, but Brute can't learn more than four moves. Do we want to make Mega Drain? Yes. Okay, which one should be forgotten? Um, let's get rid of, uh, a Tackle we might need still. Um, let's get rid of Poison Powder, honestly. 
Because I still want to keep Leech Seed. You know, I wanted to keep Leech Seed and Poison Powder, but I don't want to give up Tackle. Because then we don't have a, you know, normal type move. And basically, we would only know those grass type moves that are attacking moves then. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be bad. If, like, if we're facing like a Zubat or something, you know. So I'll keep Tackle along, still. But we win Mega Drain, awesome. And if we got a Poison Powder. So let's cut this tree again. Cool. Oh no, I forgot to get the statue, hold on. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, yeah, so Sullivan, Pokemon, Jim, Weirdo, Erica, Wing Trainer, Sean, Steven. Cool. It's awesome. I'll show off the gym badge right now, actually. So it's fourth right there. It's the last one on the first row. It's number four. It looks like a... Kind of looks like a, um... Like, you know, that... W you know if butter can, like, look like that, kind of? Like, with the shape and everything? Kinda looks like a butter th topping or whatever, like, that weird kind of butter shape you can get with butter. I don't know why I'm thinking about that, but with butter and everything, but that's okay. My name is Steven, of course. We got 39,473 Poké Dollars. Our time, our play time is, uh, 29 hours and 48 minutes, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. I already saw that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go back to the Pokémon Center and, uh, I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do I have to put anything in the PC? I don't think so. Okay, no, okay. Um I'm gonna put Paris back in the PC and get um Gamera, my war turtle, out and then I'm gonna meet you guys back at the game corner because that's where we're gonna go next for the next part. So yeah, so I'll be right back you guys. See you guys in a second. Okay, here we're in the game corner. I'm gonna actually rearrange my Pokemon by at least the greatest of level, I guess. So uh level twenty Level 20, level 31, level 28, level 27, level 27, level 27, level 27. Okay, so yeah. In the next part, uh, we'll take on this rocket grunt, or just rocket, I guess you'd say. Um, and, uh, we'll see what he's up to, because that push obviously looks suspicious. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. The next part is that this Dragon go again. I'm gonna let them again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.